I'm Ari. Hi, Sawyer. And this is our life. What's up, guys? Welcome back to another video. So, y'all, today I have something very interesting, something special, but very interesting. So, y'all, apparently, uh, Mr. Derek Jackson has been exposed, and I'm actually very shook about the situation. Um, I'm genuinely shook about the situation, actually. <laughs> That is a face of a genuinely shook person. So, unfortunately, I probably, anyways, as y'all see, I got Miss Andy with me. Okay, y'all, I think I want to do a series. I think I want to do a whole Ari's Honest Reaction <laughs> series because, okay. like, this is about to be a real reaction, y'all. I haven't saw any other videos uh, for this explosion or whatever the, whatever it's called i have no clue um freaking light went off anyway we're just gonna keep this rolling hopefully y'all can still see us um so i haven't saw any of these videos i'm going to watch uh well obviously we are going to watch the very first video of this which is miss uh tasha k along with tasha k <sighs> miss tasha k so apparently this is the, this is the very beginning. We about to get the very beginning of this, y'all. So, uh, if you haven't done so already, y'all, be sure to subscribe. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications so that you notified every time I upload some videos. Also, I'm going to link in the channel below. Y'all go check it out. Make sure y'all subscribe over there. Hit the bell for notifications as well. Um, and make sure to smash that like button, y'all. Smash that like button both places because we need that love. I know y'all love us, but. Smash that like button so we know it. Mm -hmm. Um, I feel like there's something else I was gonna tell y'all, but other than that, y'all, let's get into this video. So Ooh. let's get into this video. We, we're, right now, we're starting five minutes. Um, uh, five minutes into this video, right now. All right, this is the very first video title exclusive. Dave Jackson exposed for cheating on his wife of four years, slept with her in wife's bed. That is the title for this video. Period. Maybe there's not even a period, y'all. You know, I think there might be some dot dot dots like that could be noise and question mark. Alright. Well, how many of y'all comment if you knew Derek Jackson was married? First of all, I'm guessing to the likely years. Did y'all know he was married? Who has ever seen his wife? The facts because Who has ever seen his wife before the one picture he posted on Instagram after he was cheating? Okay, all right. <laughs> oh my God. And I'm like, the fact that she said that, but like, no, seriously, because I have been watching his videos for years. And I'm like, you know, thinking to myself, like, this is a great man. This is an honest, wholesome man. You know what I'm saying? Like, why can't all men be like this man? <laughs> they <I'm> are. <laughs> His videos are accurate, yeah. But I just can feel it in my bones. He's probably doing somebody's daughter all wrong. Y'all comment down below, please. Tell me if y'all are a team. She, she knew he was a lying ass nigga. <laughs> I did. <laughs> or team. He was a wholesome man. Like what could have happened? This lady had to have tipped at this man. Men can be Jezebels too. That don't just go for females. That's the one right there. Men have just the best period. That's a fact. So, that's that. Man, I see this. You know, I always use my stand as a buffer to make sure I'm not on the, you know, on the call and I got other stuff to do. So, I told Chelsea to reach out. She didn't, re she didn't recognize Chelsea's number. So then, you know, she was like, hey, the man was going to call me today. Now, we've been going back and forth for about two weeks, right? So finally, I gave her my number this morning. I was like, well, this must be important. Let me give her my number. Because she ended up calling me today around like 5 o'clock, right? And I was like, hey, she was like, hey, you gave me your number. I thought it was, you know, in reference to the Kirk Franklin, because I gave her my number regarding uh, Kirk Franklin, right? And they were supposed to call me too. Not that I was going to call So, you know what? Yeah, let's see how you Yeah, let's see how you So much going on there. But anyway, let me, let me not let y'all wait. Anyway. So, I'm talking to her and I got my son, Brettine, Carl, Kusuzuka, and everything. And she said, Derek Jackson 
and she was just like, listen, you know, normally I would do anything like this, but because of what he represents online and how he did me, and I'm just shocked because I looked at him like this, but now after everything done went down, I don't know what to think. And she was just like, you know what, I'm Same. done. I'm not scared of him, and I want to expose him. So I was like, okay, what you talking about? So I'm thinking, you know, maybe she gonna want to say something and then back out because there was a girl, there was some girls that contacted me like two years ago. If you were dating one wine, you know about that. And now we're supposed to put that wine out. The girl was like, Derek had made her get an abortion. That's what she said. But I couldn't put that out, you know what I'm saying, without her verifying that. So I was like, hey, you going for an interview? And then she was like, yeah, and then she got scared and got both. Y'all understand? You know what I'm saying? He's a pretty big deal online. And if you don't know who he is, you know what I'm saying? He's the perfect guy. He is the, the worst. He's the perfect guy. black man. He says, black men don't cheat. I said, you know, his Instagram, we're going to give him some promotion today, baby, okay? He's going to say, I'm going to All right, don't tell me. He's going to fucking lie. He got damn clothes. Go over there and look at his damn videos, his Instagram page, so you can look at every motherfucking lie. So, every motherfucking lie. Every lie, she said. Black men don't cheat. Black men are not cheat. You know what I'm saying? How dare you try to talk down on a black man? This is 
Give me ah. one second. Let's get let's let's roll this back. Hey guys, they can't hear me. I got it.
don't stop him. Just see what he wants to do. And that nigga wanted to continue <laughs> cheating. Like, doing him. He could have easily said, okay, cool. You ain't going to be here for my birthday. Well, I'm going to come to y'all. What can I do to where we can all, all right. as a family, be together for my birthday? Right. No, this nigga calls another female and gives his sob story about she left with the kids. And now I need you, you know. They say, they think they wrote the book. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what the case was, but um, we spent, I spent his birthday with him, with his close friends, you know, his best friends were there, my best friends were there, so we were all just hanging out that whole entire weekend, you know, so after that, um, you know, we went our separate ways, I went back home, we continued to test, you know, just here and there, um, until, like, I'm going to say the end of July, um, he was texting me and he was like, hey, I'm going to have to, um, I'm going to have to hit you up back on, on Snapchat because, um, you know, she's coming down here to bring the kids, but then, you know, she might stay at the house. So then I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. like, what? Right, so. You mean she might stay at the house that she lives at? <laughs> at her house? He told the, I don't want to call her a side trick or a mistress because but the other woman, he told, his he other told woman. the other woman, I'm gonna have to be hitting you up on Snapchat or something, which everybody knows Snapchat is a cheater's dream because right. the shit's deleted. I'm gonna hit you up on Snapchat because my wife bringing the kids down and she might stay too. You mean she might stay in her house? <laughs> Where we live together for that married, bro? Okay. I mean, and, and keep in mind, this is why I'm so bothered by it because this man has been tearing so many other people down in his videos. He tears down a lot of black men and, and he does all this, tears them down to make himself look higher and that's what I don't respect at all. Especially like if he would have just been a normal guy that cheated and said, oh, I cheated, I was wrong. But, but was real about it, I can have a little more respect for him, a little bit more. But all of this, I'm out here cheating and I'm gonna make videos every day telling other niggas they not shit for yes. cheating. Wow. How dare you? Audacity has to be on sale. It got to because that's wow. that's so foul. That's why it's like Lil Duval and Charlemagne, like uh, different people was going in on him because right. he had tore those people down for like, you know, just Child, the perfect man. black man. You was the perfect black man, quote unquote. And that's the thing. Nothing in life is perfect. Nobody Nothing. is perfect. Nothing. And sometimes I look at the most perfect man and I'm just like, I bet he got the worst character flaws ever. Yeah. Seriously, that's what I saw. Like, like I said, his videos be accurate, but the more I would just watch him, the way he loved being in front of his little camera in the car, you're an attention whore. You know what I'm saying? That's what I see. Yeah. You're not really trying to help people. You like looking at yourself tall on the camera. <laughs> you do. You, like you don't care what the hell you're talking about. You're just talking now. Right. You talk about people cheating and then you're about to go cheat. You just want to see cheat. yourself and hear yourself. You just came from cheating. Just came like. from. Still outside her house. Like that's how scared. Because if you're done with somebody, you're just done. So I don't understand why she's, you know, coming back to the house and stay. I mean, I understand, like, at any point, a woman can go back to her, her husband at any point, you know, and so it's just the fact that, you know, expecting it from him, you know, Mr. Relationship Girl, or whatever he is, you would, I would expect oh, to, you know, be that, um, I guess it's organized with his whole separation or whatever. So, um, so he's like, oh, I'm going to continue to write for him. Yeah, so at that point, that was a red flag to me, like, oh, maybe he's hiding something, like, what, what more to it? And so, um, I'm reaching out to him on Snapchat. He's telling me, and I'm trying to get the phone. Like, so is this something that you guys are a phase that you guys are going to, or what's going on? He's like, emotionally, I'm not. Um, we're, I, I'm not going to get back together with her. You know, it's so much. But physically, that, you know, he's emotionally, like, oh. emotionally, emotionally, I'm emotionally, I'm done. I'm never going to be with her. But physically, I'm going to be with her ass every day. On paper, we're going to be married still. That man said, what? That is a narcissist. What? Narcissist. Emotionally. You gonna have 
have my heart, but she gonna have my body. Oh my God. It's like I'm both of y'all, but we gonna kick me out. <laughs> Within the next few 
days, this man quote, I mean, he blocked me. Like, literally, maybe, I was say probably three days before when he just broke me that. Um, he blocked me on all social media. I'm talking about Facebook, um, Instagram. He, like, blocked me. He even blocked me at that friend. So I was like, this is kind of... Blocked my friend, too? Blocked me. I don't know. You know, friend, something here uh, is in the household that she found out something about what happened. But he ended up blocking me. And I was like, no, you're gonna find out if I can like open my friends and then if you see, you know, maybe delete it or something. But she didn't feel that he blocked me. Um, and then that's when he posted, I don't know if you like so if you're normally I'm there to pay, he never ever posted his wife. Never. Never. So mind you, this is after this whole thing happened, all of a sudden he posts his wife. After so many years of not showing her, you know, talking about oh, something it's about not saying his death. So he posts his wife, and you know, everybody like I'm getting like, no, I'm getting upset. So I'm like, what's going on? So like, clearly something transpired that like he just blocked me out of nowhere, and then now he's posting his wife. The many years that he had that nobody knew about, and now you're posting her out of nowhere. Yeah, so I don't know what transpired. Transferred in the household, but basically he just left me for dead without even explaining what's going on, you know, or whatever the case is, and just goes back to his wife, which is okay. It's just like the way he went about it was not You expected better from someone who speaks such highly about women. That's my issue is that I don't, like, I can deal with things like that, you know, but it's, but coming from somebody who, you know, you expect those better. To be on a situation like that, that that's what got me. And I was like, okay, all right, bet. So, so how did you guys like get to know each other? Like, cause you said you guys had known each other for ten years. You and Derek. So yeah, so pretty much um, back in like Twitter days, like the beginning of Twitter, when he wasn't really popping, like somehow we followed each other, or whatever. So we've been communicating since Twitter days, and he got my contact in years. Like Derek. <laughs> So he would DM um, you asking you what type of panties you would have on? Not even a video, it's a whole video. You got the video, girl? You got the video? Yes, girl, I have the video. Oh my god, I need this stuff. Oh my god, do you know? Do you know, like, I had some girls contact me, this was about maybe two years ago, and they had all the information, but they got scared of him. I don't know what happened. I, it, I'm not scared. Okay. I'm not. I mean, he ain't gonna do shit, but still, but girl, like, I just, I'm not surprised at all. Now, describe what his bedroom looks like, just in case he tries to lie to his wife. When she was... No, it's, it's there's a text message that sent me a video of him showing, like, hanging out in the bedroom, and then there's a video of me, like, uh, uh, not a video, but it's like a little boomerang type shit where, like, he's exiting his room in the same scenery, so. Okay. What is his, um, what does his living room look like when you walk? Let me tell you something. <clears throat> I'm sure there has been some things done that I don't know about, like he said, I've been right. doing this and she don't even know. If I ever find out you got somebody in my house, like a bitch sitting here filming herself in my house, it's gonna be chitty chitty bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't gonna be no talking. Ain't gonna be no question. Like you and her. Cause what? Both y'all. What? Both y'all. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Yes. And that's how Mary had a little. Okay, good. When I walk in, uh, there's like a back, there's like a back towards the, the pool area. There's like a pool area. Like open window concept. Okay. Because it's like a pool area. Like, walking in the front door, like, you know, like, you're not going to be able to Mm. And then 
opened up a big open, like, you know, the pool, it's like the pool and back. Like, I have, like, videos of me hanging out, not me personally, but, like, me taking boomerangs of this back pool area. And then there's uh, a picture of my best friend and his best friend hanging out. Like, I have those kind of things. Best friend of the whole ass nigga, too. Okay. Now, <laughs> I'm to ask you, if you really best friend. Well, I'm not going to lie, yes, he is. Oh, well, at least he got that down pat. Did <laughs> you see the books? Okay, so. Probably so. Most hoes are. They give enough practice. Did you see the Like, we went out, 
Do you think he used you for some pussy or or, or what? what do you think he did? I have, like, honestly, I think I think that's what I wanted because so far, like, the whole time that we know each other, it has been, like, when we were successful, should ever have to go through that and her and her friends were ready and then she oh. I think she got scared because of the sensitivity of the topic but um but that's what she told me she said that he is an asshole everything that he yes. said that what he is that's why he speaks the best well there it is okay go ahead and load the receipts up for me girl I got you thank you save my number this is my personal number Okay. You want me to put it public? No, 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 no. Just send it to me privately. Ooh, no, 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 no. Mm-mm. Okay. All right. Thank you so much. Don't tell God in this. God is all truth. Shit you making? I'm about to put your ass on child support. Yes. Look, my mama, daddy. 
and you can be out here with his heart, but guess what? Marriage sells his brand, okay? Relationship sells his brand. So if anything gets messy, he can't sell nothing because, like, he's not practicing what he's preaching. But you know what? Y'all continue to listen to him. I have somebody that's right with a friend of mine. Love the motherfuckers like this. How you gonna let a hoe tell you how to be a lady?
the perfect guy or, or what I think the perfect guy is, you know? That's unfortunate. Yeah, I'm I'm where she says it all the time. Unfortunate, not fortunate. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all comment down below if y'all think it's unfortunate. <laughs> yeah. Comment down below, let me know what y'all think about this. This is, this is crazy. Like, this is my blessing. Comment down below, have you ever been dating or talking to a married man that you believe was no longer married, but then found out, yeah, she is, and then he blocked you and whoop de whoop you. you know, Facts. have you ever been misled? You Facts. Know? Yeah, all if you've ever dealt with a narcissist, <laughs> comment down below, like, oh, comment. That should comment. be a lot of comments, y'all. For real. Millions. Look at that. If you need help figuring out if they're narcissists or not, comment down below. I'll get back to you. <laughs> okay, study, I'll get back to you. <laughs> Like I said already, like we've said already, we've already told y'all a million times to comment down below. So y'all comment down below so we know what's going on. Let's have a conversation about this. I'm genuinely shook. Y'all make sure to subscribe over here, subscribe over there, hit the bell for notifications so that y'all know about every time we upload some new videos. If y'all like this video, y'all like Ari and Andy's honest reaction, okay. smash that like button, y'all. Let's get this video to 20 thumbs up. Yeah. And let's do a giveaway. Yeah. Comment down below. Send all the love. We are sending the love back. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.